Occasionally, you will need to add extra geometry to a drawing in order to completely describe a part or a feature. This is a relatively pr simple process in Inventor, and I'll show you how to do it in this video. The design of this mechanical part requires that there are three surfaces tangent to this circle with an inch and a quarter diameter. So you'll see that this surface here, this surface here, and the hidden surface right here are all tangent to that circle with a diameter of one and one quarter inches. In order to completely dimension this in the front view, I need to have this circle as a part of my drawing. And it's easily done by adding a simple sketch to the drawing environment. So moving to Inventor, I'm going to look at my drawing here. I've already completed most of the drawing. I have my front view, my top view, my side view, and an isometric view. But in this view right here, I want to have a circle that has a one and a quarter inch diameter and is tangent to those three surfaces. The easiest way to do this is to create a sketch. So on the Place Views tab, we're going to come over here and we're going to choose Start a Sketch, and then select the view that we want the sketch to be a part of. The next step will be to project the geometry from the sketch that is important. So I need that line, that line, and that line, since those are the three lines that are tangent to that circle. Once I have those in place, I can now draw a circle, and I can add my constraints, tangent constraint, between the circle and the arc, or the circle and the line, the circle and the line, and the circle and the line. At this point, it's not necessary for me to add a diameter to this circle because there's only one diameter that this that would fulfill it. And so um, adding the diameter would simply result in a driven dimension. It's not necessary to have. The last thing that I'll want to do, though, is change the properties of this so that it's a center line instead of a regular line. So I'll simply right click on that, choose the properties, change the line uh, type from by layer and I'll choose chain because that's the one that looks like a center line. Choose OK. You'll see that it changes it here. Now we can finish the sketch and you'll see that the sketch is here now so I can simply now come in and finish retrieving the rest of my dimensions. So I can say let's retrieve the rest of these model dimensions. I need this one. I need this one for example. We'll say OK and then I can simply move these around and add in any other dimensions that I might need. Okay, if I come back in here, there's actually another dimension I need. I need that one right there. So it's very simple now to complete this drawing and show everything that it needs to have so that it can be manufactured. It's as simple as that.